So discourse is happening again, if you can believe it. Yeah, Keffels has been trending for a couple of days, and it's full of it, admittedly very funny stuff. Keffels, after taking down the site dedicated to harassing queer people for no reason, <laughs> more like under new management, regarding Keffels, when is it okay to use the word don't look at the rest of this image? The answer is always yes. Um, tender queer used to be a word that described people like Keffels, queer people who use their queer or otherwise marginalized identities to avoid accountability. We'll get to that in a second. Keffels fans be like, oh, it's a DG jeer. Actually below par on this issue. So this is what Keffels and her community thinks is funny. Please use tone indicators. This is ableist. I have turbo autism. That is true. The phrase turbo autism is pretty funny. So if you're wondering how Keffels is responding to the callouts of her racism and call for mass digital blackface on BHM, she has responded by saying she's a POC because she's Italian, linking a card that says Mario and Luigi are slurs. Watching everyone unfollow Keffels, and then you have the clip from the good movie here. Also when Kiwi Farm starts harassing black people. <laughs> Stay out of my territory. Okay, that one's pretty... F <laughs> that one's pretty good. Keffels is unambiguously in the wrong here and also being an asshole. Please stop having f***ing heroes. We're supposed to be leftists. The main thing that I saw was that um, there was some 12k uh, post from the holy f***ing bingle trans furry hacker person uh, who said to Keffels grow and change as a person basically like what lefties say when they really want to say kill yourself uh, and then they blocked me and probably also her but maybe not who knows. So that's high quality content there, you know, phenomenal stuff. Maya's a dumbass? Well, yeah, obviously, they're a leftist. <laughs> you seen these people? Look, so what, what is the origin of all this? Okay, so the basic gist of it, the basic gist of it is that uh, 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 Keffels did a bad, uh, I think she said, and that made some people mad. And also she said she was getting harassed by a bunch of tender queers on the Twitter. And she said that some of her followers should go over and make like pit crew avatars where they are black, POC, bi, queer, they, them, whatevers. Uh, and, and, you know, basically act in bad faith. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, let's talk for a quick second, okay? Let's talk for a second about uh, woke scolds or what Kevils prefers the term tender queers, okay? I'm just going to lay this out real flat. This is my, my position up front, all right? And it's that I am a big fan of when people are good and not bad, all right? Now, most people, Vashi she called a disabled person or it's not funny. I call disabled people cards all the time because disagreeing with me is a disability. It's the only condition under which I'll call a person a The problem here is that nobody's perfect, everyone makes mistakes, but the online left has a very loud, very vocal minority of people who will ruin your life if you do anything to get on the wrong side of them. They, you can like say retard once on a stream. And mind you, by the way, and let's be real, I'm a fucking adult. I'm not literally like an infant. I'm not actually like a fucking crybaby. Saying it's not a big deal. If you think it is, I genuinely think there's something wrong with you. We're not talking about like the N word. We're not talking even about the F slur when referring to a gay person. We're talking about a word that is ubiquitized and has an etymological and use case origin identical to that of dumbass or idiot. Seriously, this is one of the reasons why I don't care that much about the term It's because, like idiot, a ubiquitously used term now, uh, it has an origin in medicalized ableism, and they both are used to just broadly refer to people who are being dumbasses. It's not like the N-word, which is immediately a slur against black people, or the F-slur, which is immediately a slur against gay people. Though, to be fair, even that's kind of changing a little bit, depending on the community that you're in. The difference with the term is that card is used interchangeably with idiot, dumbass, wit, brainlet, whatever else. Uh, if you think it's like a mean term or like it's worse than those words, I think that's fine. I guess it's a little bit like punchier. It's a little bit meaner. I agree with that. But the idea that there's some kind of distinction that makes card ableist but dumbass not ableist is cope. 100% cope. If you're really concerned with ableism, you have to excise far more than card from your lexicon. Personally, I think you should strive to be kind to people, you know? I just don't think it's that big of a deal if you say hard. You know, if, if I'm like in an interpersonal situation and people clearly don't want me using it, I won't because I'm just hanging out there. 
But what we're talking about here is a, a, a very distinct situation, which is where very tiny infractions of perceived good conduct are then used as an excuse to completely excise you from the online left. People have been doing this to Keffels for a while, this whole, um, what do we need her for anymore? Which is a disgusting attitude to have towards fellow members of your community, you know? And there's this, like, really paternalistic gatekeeping attitude where it's like, um, we tolerated your presence up until now, but now that you've stepped on an eggshell, now that you've made a mistake, we're going to hate you for it. The thing that frustrates me the most is that oftentimes the people who engage in that kind of harassment are themselves miserably bad people. They tend to be, and I'm serious when I say this, sexual abusers uh, for the same reason that generally interpersonally abusive people tend to be uh, because they project their insecurities and their terrible treatment of others onto those around them. I've seen that one play out a million times before. They tend to be just generally kind of horrible people. Uh, and a lot of them are bigoted, too, you know? Uh, a lot of the people who will come after, say, for example, me for being mildly sexist are themselves actually TERFs and therefore part of a genocidal hate movement. So, you know, I don't know about that one. And, and then there are a lot of people who are hyper-fragile over some issues pertaining to, like, gender or sexuality, but are actually, like, kind of racist, kind of problematic. I'm being reminded now of Mel, apparently Keffel's former partner, it seems who uh, was, like, pretty weird and racist with, like, black people. The whole, like, yeah, well, I respect the streets and all that bullshit. Um, it's, the, the point I'm getting at here is that nobody's actually, yeah, I know, right? Nobody's actually perfect. Uh, I don't think that being imperfect is, like, grounds to completely excise a person from the left, but, you know, a lot of people seem to think that's okay. I mean, you saw all the memes on Twitter, right? Isn't it kind of interesting how the central focus of all of those memes was, like, we're done with her rather than actual arguments against what she's done. A lot of them didn't even involve like specifically calling out stuff that she'd done. A lot of it was just a general like jubilation and glee with the, you know, the ability now to finally participate in their favorite activity, which is dumping on someone they don't like for a very minor infraction of their moral code. All right, that's enough lead in. You all know my opinion on these people. Where did it all start? Where are we? Oh yeah, Keffels, I tried playing Raft recently, and I found it very boring to begin with. It was like 40 minutes of me hooking barrels. Maybe it gets more fun after. Hello. I'm not necessarily sure why I'm doing this, to be totally fair. I mean, I said it. It feels like bait, but Yoink. I don't assume you're going to completely change your mind by any means. But... When you put my public... Sorry, I'm not doing the TikTok ADHD thing. I'm covering up the coin surfing. I do not respect you. Take Adderall like a normal person. I do not... I'm not legitimizing you. I am over here now. Mirror your camera. Oh, you're right. Wait, can I do that without it being a pain in the ass? Hold on. Will it, will it mirror on the vertical axis? Transform. Dope. Twitter up. On your live stream mm -hmm. it sent a ton of people my way and sure they're just sending trolling comments and that seems like something light or maybe not that important but it's lucky i've dealt with trolls before i knew this was trolling activity these kinds of things can end up sending people towards folks who are not as, as stable of places who are emotionally having a hard time it can essentially trigger extremely stressful moments they previously had in their lives these kinds of things, it feels like you're doing a Project Pridefall just from the left, and I don't understand it. I think another thing that I wanted to say, too, while I at least have, I suppose, my minor moment in the spotlight, is that I can understand maybe the initial thinking that this is just purity testing or anything else, but I, I'm literally a disabled trans person that had to run a blockchain and set up my account to keep people away from it all evening. I had to go out of my way because you did that. And it's not just trans people facing horrible things in the world right now. I'm disabled, I'm trans, and especially the disabled trans community, we are not allowed to immigrate. Other countries do not take disabled people. If the worst happens, we don't get to run away. Where do you live? In the United States. Almost no countries will take disabled people, even some refugees. It's messed up. It's something a lot of mm. people don't. There's no real escape routes for us. 
And so when people are complaining about ableism in particular or driving a wedge in the community, it's because right now disabled people are already facing essentially their own genocidal actions through this pandemic and people like what's the context for all this uh keppel said retard at some point um okay i i just want to say i hmm how do i put this i genuinely do not think that there is a difference in the average level of ableism between somebody who says retard and somebody who doesn't in my exp so when so when we talk about ableism i feel like there are two kinds of ableism one of them that's real and one of them that isn't the non-real kind of ableism is just a general disregard for unintelligence as a concept. Unfortunately, this is the case everywhere. Everyone, categorically, has some kind of aversion to unintelligence. Uh, it is literally built in to us. It is bad to be unintelligent. See, it's a different kind of bigotry. It's not like being black. There's nothing wrong with being black. Nothing wrong with being gay. Nothing wrong with being a woman or trans or anything. But being unintelligent literally is worse than being intelligent. Now, that doesn't mean that if you're unintelligent, you're a bad person, but this is like a categorical distinction that we acknowledge, isn't it? For instance, it is better in terms of your abilities to walk around on two feet than it is to be in a wheelchair. A person who isn't disabled can do more things than a person who is disabled. That's what the term disabled means. Now, I don't think that using the terms dumb or stupid or even retard makes a person ableist necessarily in a real sense. I think it means they have the same kind of casual disregard for perceived unintelligence that essentially everyone has anyway. But honest to God, I don't see people use retard as a term to distinguish like actually intellectually disabled people. You know? Like, who, who gets called retarded? In my experience, it's everyone. Vosh, for f**k's sake, there is social disability theory. I am worse off by using a wheelchair because society doesn't accommodate. Yeah, and if only society could accommodate the intellectual disability, you must have had to not think that even if society didn't accommodate, even if society did accommodate your wheelchair, you would still be able to do less things than me. You can't get around that. The only thing you could do to get around that would be to have some kind of like mecha suit, which, hey, Godspeed, one day, right? A good example of that would be something like glasses. In a world without glasses, having poor vision is a life-threatening disability. You'll die over that. Nowadays, if you can afford glasses, it's nothing. In terms of their ability to get around the world, glasses even the gap between people with good and bad eyesight. And that's great. The point that I'm trying to get at here, and I think it's really important to understand this, is that I really do not think there is that much of a relationship between people who will say retard or dumbass casually and people who will like actually mock the disabled. I, I do not mock disabled people. If a person has like Down syndrome, there is not an, a fiber of my being that is compelled in any way to make fun of them. Uh, if a person is quadriplegic or whatever, there's not literally nothing in me immediately defaults my brain to Ah, uh, they're retarded, or whatever. It just isn't there. There's no connection. If a person, who I know to be a decently intelligent guy, however, trips on the staircase in front of me and hits their head in a banister, I will call them a retard. Because the association just isn't there to me. And if you do think that retard is some kind of, like, highly essentialist, like, ableist term, that in a unique and distinct way reifies ableism against disabled people, why does dumbass not do the same? And if you're going to make the argument that dumbass does do the same, and then, corollary, that we should be excising people from the left if they use the term dumbass, then you should probably just shut up and just, like, stay at home and just be quiet. <laughs> if, if, if the threshold that we're making for political viability is one in which we will excise people for using terms like idiot or dumbass, then there's no hope for us. There genuinely isn't. I think your arguments are shaky. Uh, you know, to be charitable, I would say that. I think they're shaky. To be uncharitable, I would say that you are projecting your insecurities and you will be the death of us all. So that is the reason why I don't care that much. Um, I just I just don't. And honestly, I think a lot of people are kind of faking it when they say they're offended by retard as well. I think a lot of them think it in their head. I think a lot of them have heard it culturally through cultural osmosis, the kind of content they've consumed. And I think a lot of them do a lot of problematic stuff in their off time too. I think they keep up a kind of performative social net. And I know that because I know for a fact that a lot of people in this community will admit 
that they also did that back when they were a part of a more sensitive online left community where they had to keep up this like, oh, well, you know, it's, it's, a, bad, it's a bad word and other people seem offended. Um, but like, it's all, it's all a network thing. I'll give one example, then we'll move on. I know I'm rambling here, but I care about this. What I care about, mind you, is not the ability to say retard. I say it too much. It's a crutch. Um, what I care about, really care about, is this like propensity towards harassment from the tender queer, woke scold, whatever. That really bothers me. So I'm justifying myself here, but I don't think I even have to. I think if I was even unjustified in being kind of a dick, that still isn't an argument for like excising me from the left. Same with Keffels. Even if we didn't have arguments, I would still say the behavior here is bad. But an argument that I'll make is this. When I was younger, maybe 18, and more of an obnoxious feminist guy, I remember there was some outrage over what I remember being like a Microsoft demonstration at E3, where there were a guy and a girl playing a multiplayer shooter as part of a demonstration for the game. And the guy was doing a lot better than the girl. Uh, they were both professionals. They're both like business people. Uh, and the guy uh, was, was, was winning. And he, they were like, hi, I getting your butt kicked. Ah, don't worry. It'll be over soon. Woo. And the guy wins. Cause you know, the, what, the guy, the guy was better than the girl. And there was this big feminist write-up post by some insufferable person online who was like, why are they making jokes at E3? When this guy from Microsoft said, don't worry, it'll be over soon. That is a clear reference to the things rapists say to their victims. Is this seriously acceptable? I'm not joking. Is this seriously acceptable at E3? I remember this. I remember it vividly. I remember it vividly because at the time I agreed with it. Or I thought I did. What I actually did was passively accept that because I knew it was being said by somebody more sensitive than me. Uh, that may sound kind of reductive, but that's really it. At the time, I was like a new to leftism kind of guy. And I was thinking, oh, well, here is a, a loud, authoritative sounding, convincing sounding, like... They use some some jargon. They use some left-leaning jargon in there. That must be like a good position, right? Okay. And then I remember in my head afterwards, I accepted that. Uncritically, I accepted, oh, that guy made a joke. That's unacceptable. In retrospect, this is an insane position to hold. Why would somebody like me, a person who's generally pretty independent-minded and pretty intelligent, I think, accept such a stupid argument at face value? And the reason for it was because I just wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking for myself. I let that post do the thinking for me. I saw it. I accepted it because I existed in a community where there were social incentives to accept posts like that without thinking. And then I believed it without reevaluation. I think a lot of people do that with a lot of points. And I think the left does this with a lot of stuff, especially. And I think this is one of the issues they do it most on. Yeah, I need to watch that DM. Oh, no, it's totally... No, the, the use of the term retard is definitely, if, if nothing else, a, a massive crutch. Uh, I think you can be a lot meaner, if anything, if you don't use the word retard. Um, once you're, once you've, you've got your big boy pants on, the term retard doesn't feel particularly punchy anymore. I know I don't get my feelings hurt if I'm called a retard, certainly. I get called a retard all the time. You gotta always be thinking up creative insults. I advocate against saying retard all the time, primarily as a way of keeping up a kind of literary creativity, you know, vocal uh, flexibility. Um, but yes, no, I need to watch your thing. Though probably not in this segment, because I have a feeling this is going to go long enough as it is. Ignoring it and leaving us to die, leaving us without resources. And we're already here and ready to fight and are doing the work. And that wedge is being put mm -hmm. into a community instead of building a bridge together so people can fight together. We're the problem is you're still arguing you should say retard and others should using bad faith arguments. Nope. I have not made any bad faith arguments. I could make some. Maybe I would for fun later. But so far, all the arguments I've made have been perfectly good faith. You can disagree with them, but they're not bad faith arguments. Going to need everyone. There's no way that just a small group of trans people alone are going to win this fight. Of course. No how we need all of our allies. And I think that's part of why people are upset. It feels like you are alienating large groups of people be it through just trying to make jokes or whatever it is you want to say, it, it does hurt people and things like this. Again, I'm lucky. So two things, disabled people. So, okay. Disabled people are objectively not alienated from the left. If the left contains some people that say retard, 
Keffel's not advocating for eugenics. Keffel's is not advocating for like uh, anti-disability social programs. We're at most here talking about like the spicier version of dumbass. The problem that I have with the term like alienated from is that the actual alienation that is taking place here is of um, like non-ultra fragile people. The left looks really bad when stuff like this leads to them turning on Keffel's. Really think about it. How do you think it makes the left look to anyone who's not already on the left for Keffels to have been like the headline trans advocate anti-Kiwi Farms champ for like a solid length of time and then the entire left turns on her and tries to excise her because she said retard. How do you think that makes us look? And it does make it really difficult to be on the left too. I mean, Christ, uh, you can find all of these people. Uh, 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 who are so fragile and so sensitive. And I bet you that interpersonally, they do a lot of stuff that is uh, objectionable as well. I just don't think we should like hyper fixate on this to the extent that it like destroys cohesion in our movement. I've dealt with trolls, I've done this. This can have real life, really negative consequences towards people, especially those who are having mental health struggles. And that's right. Um, to me. Didn't didn't Keffels initially say retard in the context of calling a turf retarder or something? Wasn't she on like a Twitter space, and she said like, "You're retard." That was that. That's the that's the thing that like alienates disabled people and like ruins the left and makes it harder for. It's like, okay, she was calling an entire panel of turfs and fascist retards. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm obviously sorry that you had to run a blockchain. I've had to do that myself when people are spamming death threats and revenge porn and dead naming me because obviously I've had to deal with a lot of far right trolls and still do. Um, what were the comments like? I can't imagine coming from my community, the comments could be that bad. I would say that the severity of the comments, to be honest, everyone's blocked now and I'm not about to go and block everyone to read things off specifically. Mm -hmm. But it was enough to get Elon Musk's Twitter to suspend your account. What you don't realize is people like this don't care about the movement. It's a social club where oppression is... I, you, I don't know this. I've said this more than anyone. Find a single person in the online left who has been louder about the fact that there are a lot of people who use it as a social club where oppression is clout. I, I'm literally... I'm like the star on the Christmas tree on that argument. You know how much trouble I've been getting in for the past four years? Now temporarily. And several others. I have the report sitting here because I sat there and tried to get rid of these troll accounts. I gotta get a haircut. These kinds of things, even if it's just a joke among the chat, the idea was to potentially trick people. It's literally like Operation Pridefall, that 4chan, extremely... Uh, okay, so what the caller is referring to right now was, uh, can anyone provide the clip of Keffel's and the pit crew avatar thing? Can anyone provide that? Keffel's pit crew. Maybe it's like clipped in something? Of course, everyone who would talk about this has me blocked already, so I have to all do it through the incog windows. Uh, I can't find it. If somebody can find it, I'd like to see it. Oh, you got it? Any. Any! Here we go. This is gonna be great. You just got here, are we spreading misinfo? Yeah, I'm doing gay ops on tender queers by encouraging my, uh... I'm encouraging my followers to make pick crew accounts and enter and infiltrate tender queer Twitter. Because if we, once they catch wind of the plan that we're using pit crews to infiltrate tender queer Twitter, they're going to all become incredibly suspicious of pit crews and they will eat each other alive. Does it matter which pit crew? No, just use a random one. But the more diverse, the better. Like, make it like a black butch lesbian with like, I, I, I don't know. It Gay ops. Phenomenal. Obviously, from an optics perspective, this is a bad idea, but if we actually, like, look forward, or look at it straightforwardly for, like, the ethics of the situation, it's totally fine. Also, look at the way this is being framed here. She suggested her followers pretend to be black. Notice how, rather than the actual message, which is just, ah, well, we're doing the pit crew thing, so be every, like, demographic or whatever, it's now a blackface thing. The end result being that LGBT by POC would then be viewed with suspicion. No, she said pick crews would be viewed with suspicion. Notice how even in the clip here, which I'm sure is missing context back to front. Notice how like just this, uh, they're already trying to like frame that. Couldn't it stand on its own? Why do we have to lie about the content of it? What's a pick crew? A pick crew is just like a, a type of image avatar that people use. It's like you make your own 
the alt-right people ran I, to try to make our community look bad. Except it's I coming feel from like, someone who should know better. I feel like, like that's I, I a get bit... why people are mad. Yeah, and I don't want to jump down your throat. Like, I feel like people think that I'm a lot less reasonable than I am. I'm more than willing to hear you out. Um, I don't know if you're also aware that I am also disabled. Um, like, I have oh, no, struggled. I, I, yeah. I, I know. I, I've, I've been dug deep in the discourse at this point. Yeah. I've paid close attention. And to be honest, if you're saying that, I think that would just, to be fair, lead people to being more disappointed. Most of the disability activists that at least I'm following personally, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you talked about earlier about these people who seem to only care about their own things. Some of the greatest names of folks who I could mention, I mean, Imani Barbarin, who is just fantastic, has been in a constant mm -hmm. fight for trying to build this solidarity amongst other people because we need it. Right now, especially with the pandemic and people being stuck in their homes, this is probably something else most people don't know. But in the United States, there were these things mm -hmm. called ugly laws. And I know this happened in other countries. Disabled people literally couldn't go out in public. It was illegal that, that, because we are ugly. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, thing. I'm witnessing right now being... with the rise of made in Canada, disabled people who can't afford to live. So, yeah, notice how this conversation thus far doesn't have anything to do with anything Keffels did. We're doing the kind of um, the abstraction game where because Keffels said retard at one point, we're now like... The, the, the follow through with that is, well, Keffels is doing an ableism and because she's doing an ableism, she's like contributing to ableism. And that means, well, you know, they used to do eugenics. So really, this is like that. So I, I hate this kind of argument. And it's like very common in the woke scold thing because it, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. We need to educate. Yeah, yeah. It's always like, ah, let me educate you. So now you can like prostrate yourself before me and apologize. The audacity of you saying a naughty word now knowing that ableism is a thing that existed historically applying for assisted suicide it's exactly i i know course. the maid thing is, is a severe issue and that's i think part what of item of clothing is keffel's wearing by the way it's i thought it was like a short sleeve sweater but it's not it's just like something draped over her what is that is that like a poncho it looks cozy a big t-shirt like how big because it doesn't look like the sleeve See, like it, it looks like this is a solid piece of fabric here. Man. Part of why, despite however you want to yeah. use this language, alienating this large portion of the community, when again we're going it's to need all of these okay, people together, I don't... and this struggle is, it seems like a terrible right. idea. Okay. A lot of the people with the pit crew accounts were specifically going after Aaron Reed and Alejandra um, Caraballo, which led to Keffel's wanting to do the gaps. Oh, Aaron Reed and Alejandra Caraballo. You mean the the two, literally the two most active and loudest trans advocates on Twitter? What were they going after them for? They breathe wrong. Did they did it was was did somebody tweet out um, uh, Aaron Reed and um, uh, um, uh, Caballero like this tweet in twenty seconds? Are your anti like uh, neo gender pronouns? What what, what happened there? platforming fascists oh great okay so here we're gonna advance my position one tick forward okay uh if you are harassing incredibly prominent and listen to advocates for your cause because you don't like that they're arguing with the opposition because you don't like the the concept of engaging with people you disagree with because you have social anxiety and you still live with your parents and you can't even order a pizza over the phone and you're worthless um you are an advocate indirectly for the cause of the enemy then uh, it, you you are literally like an unwitting psyop. Uh, you you were shot by the CIA at birth with a little needle that injected nanites into your bloodstream that makes you w one of their deep operatives. It's insane. Unironically, they they would the whole CIA thing completely true. Uh, it is it is ridiculous. I I cannot imagine how a person could consider themselves an advocate for the left as they're engaged on the precipice of trans genocide in harassment against a trans person who advocates for trans rights uncritically and unabashedly, not because they said something disagreeable, because you dislike their tactics. Unbelievable. Okay, but I was, I was very explicit telling people just to not harass people. Like, I don't want to harass anyone. But I do think- I can't believe people buy the platforming, right? Nobody understands what platforming means. Nobody has any idea. None of you guys were around. None of you have any idea because these f 
idiots were all like 14 when COVID hit. They don't know. You guys don't know what it was like when Dave Rubin was still pretending to be a liberal centrist, and then he would have Lauren Southern on back in 2017. So Dave Rubin could go, oh, well, I don't know about that. And Lauren Southern could be like, yeah, so here are 17 reasons why the white race is dying out in the West. And Dave Rubin could be like, oh, well, you know, I mean, maybe, I don't know. You guys have no idea what platforming is like. Platforming is not going on a Twitter space and arguing with a conservative larger than you and passionately calling them out on everything they say. People have no idea what platforming means. They have no idea. No concept at all. Yeah, it's it's insane, Dima. It's a prison of their own creation, really. These uh, The only people less happy than those being harassed by these wokelets is the wokelets themselves. They're miserable. They're miserable people. They're not happy. I think it's okay if people have these, like, joke accounts and they're just interacting with each other in their own little part on Twitter. That would certainly be one thing, but I mean, they literally came to interact with me on purpose. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you essentially encouraged them to. You threw my name up on a screen right. and did it yourself. <laughs> so of course they're going to copy you. They're your fans. I Don't mean, you think it's a bit bad faith, though, to compare what I'm doing to Project Pridefall? Because it's like you're directly comparing me to Nazis. When Nazis, when they do this kind of stuff, they're trying to paint um, queer people as pedophiles. I would never do that. What was your hopeful, hopeful goal here? Was my hopeful goal? Yeah, I mean, it seemed like the idea was, in your own words, to infiltrate the tender queer community and sow chaos. I mean, I can definitely understand there's discourse about things that are silly that we may not necessarily need to focus on. Uh, Keffels does not need to um, infiltrate the queer community. She's like a trans lesbian. <laughs> She's already there. It was like a jokey statement about like sowing a little bit of chaos in a specific subculture of incredibly obnoxious and harassment prone Twitter lefties. It's not about bringing down the left. But of course. Purposefully trying to literally cause problems in our own community, even with people who are, you know, it's, it's just sending lateral damage out. And I just, it's going to hit people like me. I don't and agree I with, with calling goals. it harassment. I mean, do you want a bunch of people coming to your accounts if you, if you, I mean, you know, if you could avoid it entirely? Right. I, and I can't. Coming That's... with these kinds of random comments that are just dumb and awful. Like, I really wish that I could, um, to deal with. I really wish like the world worked that way where I could be like, Hey guys, my mental health, not so great. Can you please stop tweeting about me today? Cause that's not something I have the luxury of. Well, of course, but of course, well, yeah, no one does. And everyone would like the world to not be that way. But the reason I compare it is because this directly leads to people having to deal with that. I wouldn't have probably had to barely know your stream was really occurring or other things. Like I had heard some people already like whispering about there's these troll accounts going around. So I yeah. tried to protect myself. My own name is on Kiwi Farms. Of course. I've dealt with this. I've dealt with a ton of community harassment. I worked in esports. Great place to be as a trans person. I didn't expect What does this have to do with what Keffels did? I expect to have someone in the trans community literally put my name on stream and essentially paint me a target. And well, I feel I like it's okay for me to... I'm mentally prepared and I've dealt with this, but you could just do this without thinking and this could result in someone who is not mentally prepared. Uh, Keffels, why did this person's name come up to begin with on your thing? Yeah, the, I, I feel... And this this happened every time I would have a woke scold on my stream as well, where like they would have two points to say on what you've done specifically, and it'd be in like an hour of them like venting at you because they need therapy. Really, do you guys remember? We, they don't come on anymore because they're terrified of me, but back when they still would come on, it was like, they, like they're clearly like miserable and they're just like, and, and, and a lot of them are kind of scared and a lot of them are like not in a good place mentally. And I don't make fun of them for that on its own. It's the fact that they then, like, use that as, as ammunition to hurt other people. They were accusing me of harassing and brigading them, so I invited them on the stream. Yeah, but Keffels, what was the initial alleged harassment and brigading that happened? Having a severely terrible time or something terrible happening. It's lucky it's me. And that's a messed up thing to have to think that about. That my fans said they had turbo autism in their replies? Ah... This person tweeted at Keffels and had a ton of replies. She and her is now mad that they got Seema Keffels arrested. What's their Twitter? Nah, wait. If, if they're so concerned about harassment, don't link their Twitter. Never mind. Can you? And no, I I totally get that. And obviously, 
there are situations where people say they want to come onto my stream and I take a like a cursory glance at their social media accounts and I sort of like parse based on how they communicate that there might be something there that's very wrong and I decide not to do that. Um but obviously like that that comes as a risk for anyone regardless of platform size, right? Because we can't tell who's behind any avatar on social media. And in that case, I would just say then, in the end, if everyone was just messing around with each other, it would be one thing. In the but end. this is also literally in a public forum. The idea that someone might fall for it was part of the joke. That's why I would compare it to Project Pridefall. Of course, it is not an exact Nazi action by any means, but the point was to make people fall for it. Because that is the funny, that is the ha ha. And people are going to use that ammunition against our own community. It makes it feel like people who do genuinely use these things, mm -hmm. like, or have neo pronouns or use these context clues in conversations because it helps them, it makes it feel like they are being belittled. Because to be real, right. that was the joke. I mean, that well, is, that is what's happening, right? They are being belittled. That's the Picker thing. That's the point. But tricking somebody by doing a fake Picker account isn't doesn't mean you're the same as Nazi Operation Pridefall, you know? <laughs> like, ah, the lefties like trains. Well, you know who else like trains? It's, yeah, that's why people are. I think hurt. another thing that's like really disingenuous. Okay, I mean, one thing is that. I feel like it's weird to call what my fans did harassment because it seems like it's more of a minor annoyance than something that is actually severe. Like the kinds of harassment I get where people are constantly telling me to kill myself or posting doxing information or revenge porn. Like that's that's like some of the stuff that I'm constantly dealing with and obviously something that I would ban people from my community for if they ever engaged in. Um, but also with Project Pridefall, that was done anonymously, where what I did was part of a bit that was done on a live stream, so literally anyone could see what was happening. I would say two things then. One, the average everyday person is going to see these things as harassment because they don't deal with it every day. It doesn't matter if they're- Oh my god! I'm so sorry. The individual who is on stream right now seems allergic to actually- it's all so vague. Experience for so hours or more out of my night. How does it take hours or more of your night to click three buttons? Because that's how long it kept happening. People, after seeing you make the comment and laughing, kept showing up. And, I mean, if you want the definition of trolling, I mean, it's Urban Dictionary, so, you know, I'm not going to say it's amazing. The art of deliberately, cleverly, and secretly pissing people off. The point is to make people angry and feel unhappy. And that isn't that kind of the goal of harassment to make people feel unhappy. Webster's Dictionary defines trolling as being a little goofball. In this essay, I plan to to take that time out of their day to hurt their mental health in some way. Um, hold on a second. I just want to go. Gotta back be careful to the with those alt tabs, Keffels. Because I mean, I I don't know. May, you know, maybe this is PR talk, but to me, harassment is just unwanted behavior that makes people feel uncomfortable. And it was annoying because I didn't just, I got comments on just my main tweet. I had tons of accounts that were randomly following me. So I had to block them and get rid of them because I don't want other people randomly in my community getting the same kind of treatment because I'm not being aware. I just went on to the, I just went on to the tweet um, that you're talking about. The one, the one where I replied, right? Uh, yep, and probably like 99% of the comments are actually people harassing me and telling me to eat shit, calling me a cunt. Um, okay, let me let me pull this up because I haven't... Maybe I have some other people blocked too, but I keep a pretty extensive block list. Let's see here. I, I mean, I see some... I see a couple things, but again, it's probably just because I keep of a course. pretty... Like, I see the one that's, I see this one that's obviously um, one of the fans of the stream where they just said, thank you for bringing attention to this. I literally had to create a new account due to bullying from her sicko fans. She gives real trans people a bad name slash SRS. Quite um, a few of the accounts are banned because I asked friends. Why is any of this taking this seriously? Okay, that's a question you should be asking yourself. 
how is this like the kindling for Keffel's trending with 20k tweets? You should you should ask yourself that. You should be curious about that as well. To help make sure they were deleted. I got some private messages too, but I mean that's an instant block and delete kind of thing. I don't Yeah, it's I'm just not like I'm keeping receipts for random trolls, but I mean of course. I mean I I'm experienced and know how to deal with this. It's just kind just, of what like if I had been one of these people that you you're saying doesn't know how to handle things or do stuff and all of a sudden I have a ton of trolling people. Okay, but you're literally you're over exaggerating the extent of this. Like I I'm seeing like three fans and then the majority of the comments are telling me to eat shit. The idea of harassment is something that makes the person who is receiving it feel uncomfortable. It doesn't have okay. to be being told. Whoa! Absolutely not. What? Are you kidding me? Sorry about being relatively quiet. I was looking at this person's Twitter on my outside to see if they said anything super egregious. It looks like it's mostly just whining. Uh, absolutely not. No. Ab un absolutely not. Harassment is not just when you're uncomfortable from interacting with somebody. That's insane. Eat shit and die for to make someone feel uncomfortable. Just so because it is by that not definition, you're dealing with. By that definition, weren't you harassing me by responding to me on my pit crew account? Because yeah, fuck. Then the entirety of the online left is harassing me 24 7 because I'm disturbed by their behavior. Because it was uncomfortable that you were trying to engage with a community in joke? Or like all of the people tweeting about me, wouldn't that also... Oh, this person, before coming on to Keffel's stream, was rallying for people to mass report her Twitter account. Be harassment? I feel like defining harassment as something that simply makes you feel bad is kind of... A, that's such a broad definition. As a disabled person who has autism, I had people talking to me about their turbo autism. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, aut great. I'm also autistic. I was the one who made the turbo autism comment. You weren't the only one is the problem. Just because you can't see a lot of them now, a ton of accounts ended up getting banned and suspended because I had to ask friends to start helping me report people. I got a lot of people bothering me. I don't think saying I have turbo autism is a bannable offense on Twitter. Is that... Seriously? Like, l look at the level of fragility present here. This is, like, ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Sorry, I'm just looking. This person's Twitter account has been, like, 24-7 dedicated to smearing cuffles for the past couple of days. And trying to get her banned as well. The reason it wasn't just run a quick blockchain and this should be done, which I did and it helped a lot, mm -hmm. is because people then, realizing they were blocked, made more accounts. Kept being a pain. And again, it's not the same as receiving a death threat. Mm -hmm. I get that, but it's still incredibly annoying. It is a huge inconvenience. I had to deal with your fan yeah. base being sent to completely bother me just for the fact that I'm here I mean, and didn't like the idea of what's going on. I feel like it's using, like wielding identity politics like that is kind of disingenuous by saying like, I am a disabled person who has autism when a very large number of people in my community are autistic. And I feel like they should be allowed to express that in ways that differ from what disability advocates consider the norm. If they want to, that's fine. Do they need to do it while specifically trolling me? You, and other people? But didn't people you and do who engaged in, first? Was it you or me? I'm pretty sure it was you who engaged first. I had made a tweet because I did not like your use of the R slur in streams. Okay. That That's what it was. That's it. Okay. I mean, and in the end, it's yeah. not necessarily just that it makes someone uncomfortable. It's the intent. It's just like when you say those slurs, it's one thing to reclaim a slur. I've done it myself on my own Twitter. I'm not going to sit here and say that that's not possible. Right. But when you use those slurs... Uh, on their own Twitter, just like that, that's pretty crazy. Slurs ...as an insult towards someone, saying that this makes them a worse person. You are perpetuating the whole reason it's a slur in the first place. It's not reclamation at that point. And I think, yes, there's going to be some people who refuse to have nuance in any way about no, this. No, of course. I just... And I get that. But those folks, that's a reasonable complaint. These are words I've had thrown at me. I've had the word I retard don't... thrown at me too since childhood. I'm I'm aware of this. You know? Yes, I know what it's like to... these words are used specifically to still create real-life damage to people. 
And even if they're Nazis and they're I mean, really shitty people, no one who's we saying don't have to go there. No one who is don't. saying retard today is using it to describe people with intellectual disabilities. That that would be like saying everyone using the word stupid or lame are referring to people who are deaf or intellectually disabled. I would say words like that while I still try to remove them from my own vocabulary, because to be fair, I've just seen things hurt of people course. and I would rather be kind. One is considered literally a slur. One is not. Sorry, the cat's resuming. Very far removed Nanners. from things. But that's all I did was post that. I didn't care for that. So I guess I mean, why would you call out opinions. one but not the others? I have in the past. I know that not everyone is that ideologically consistent, but right, I'm and that's kind of and heck, I make those mistakes myself. I think one of my first tweets. I I just can't imagine living like this. I guess I just can't. I can't imagine living like this. I will. I will. Ne I will never in my life meet someone who is happy. Who is making an effort to excise the use of the term dumb from the online left. Or I just, I cannot, I just, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I can't. It's unbelievable to me. I apologize, by the way, for the length of all of this, but I, I admit to having a kind of uh, morbid curiosity with this drama. Keffels is in a particularly bad position because she's, she's on like a roller coaster ride. She oscillates in 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 ways that I haven't because I've been so consistently anti woke scold that I just don't have any woke scolds in my audience. Uh, whereas Keffels, it's like you know, uh, it's, it's broad congratulations, and then rise oh, people attacking her, and then oh, and then oh, you know, just there are some. Yeah, look, I want to I want to make it clear by the way. Yeah, Keffels lost sixteen thousand followers over this, and God bless him. I want to be clear about this. Okay. My issue here isn't if people are, like, sensitive, all right? Um, I am not a sensitive person, obviously. You've probably all picked up on that. Uh, the problem that I have isn't with people being sensitive. The problem that I have is with people inflicting their sensitivity on others. If you're sensitive, okay, that is the business of you and your personal friends and family. That is the business of people who know and love you, who respect you, who care about you. That's great. That's fine. Yeah, Lumi, Lumi Ru is a sensitive person with a sensitive chat. I have no problem at all with her. Zero. Uh, however, as Annie points out, the world is not kind. We live in that world. Uh, my problem is when sensitive people then think, ah, well, because I'm sensitive, it's morally necessary for me to drag and harangue everyone back until they meet my standards of behavior. And that is just not a utilitarian argument that I get behind. I think this comes from having no close personal relationships which respect their sensitivity. I fully agree these people have no friends. Hey, Vosh, mental health discrimination has remained an issue in the past decade, trending up. Not making a point, just thought you'd find it interesting. Yeah, but use of the word retard has gone down, I'd be willing to bet. Also, discrimination against people with mental health disabilities is not coming from, like, edgy leftists who say retard. It's coming from like corporate middle managers who don't say retard, but privately believe in eugenics. This is one of those like aesthetics of bigotry versus actual bigotry thing, you know? Um, I, I just, the, 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 the greatest bias against disabled people will come against those with institutional power. People with institutional power don't say retard. Retard isn't like a genteel plantation slur. Retard is an Xbox Live 13-year-old uh, slur. Like, it's a totally different thing. The people with real power to do harm to uh, not comply with American Disability Act, like, uh, requirements, to uh, not, like, install the ramp in front of the building, to not hire people who have some intellectual disabilities, those people don't say retard. They don't. It's, it's just, we have to focus on what's real here, you know? Except Trump, he definitely says it. Trump definitely says retard, but DeSantis doesn't. Lumi uses they, them, just heads up. Didn't I say they, them? No? Bullshit. I've been they, theming Lumi since before you were born. I looked in there. I looked in there to see if Artemy had started slurping water, and it turns out that he hadn't. And then when I went in there, he bolted and turned around. You misspoke and said her. I'll be committing seppuku after stream. Beats, I had a slip, and then I deleted it to reword it because I didn't like that I had used something that didn't feel quite right in making that exact complaint. Mm -hmm. It happens. 
I get it. No one is perfect. But this is like a repeated thing. But that's all I did. You stumbled across my tweets and then decided, okay, troll account. And that's when I figured out, okay, this is a troll account. This is going on. I started talking about it. And I mean, I know it doesn't seem like it matters that much to you, but I mean, it literally breaks terms of service on Twitter. Like you're making jokes where the intent in the end, no matter like if it was just to have fun or do whatever, the intent is that the butt of the joke is that people with neo pronouns are worth making fun of. People who need these context clues and indicators are worth making fun of. But the when did neo pronouns even come up? These aren't legitimate things that anyone could need or use. Also, I'm totally okay with making fun of people who want context indicators. Use, but these people are a lesser. When I mean, you use the term tender queer the way you do, yes. it feels like you've just created a way to insult your own community, a way to make a word so that if anyone has a complaint against you, you have something where you can be like, they're just a this and throw it off. It makes it so it's almost impossible. What are context indicators? Tone indicators. Possible to have these real conversations because, I mean, I was getting in some of these private messages and other things, people just saying I'm a stupid tender queer. And that's annoying. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that Twitter is not a very con conducive platform to actually having these kinds of discussions. Okay, again, having looked at it, to be fair, this person was calling for Ke people to mass report Keffel's Twitter um, based on a clip from YouTube, uh, from Keffel's YouTube, um, and was like nonstop tweeting about her. So this isn't just like an errant, like, like completely innocent person who gets caught in the meme crossfire here. This is, you know, this, this person chose to engage. Which is why I try and actually bring people on stream. Some people see this as me trying to like monetize the discussion, but the truth is I actually make significantly less money having these kinds of conversations as opposed to just streaming. Um, True. She lost 16K followers. Anyone who says that like going after the woke scolds is some kind of like bomb financial decision it's just not it never works even people in my chat are mad at me when i do this stuff on my own but i have a hard time understanding context on twitter because there's no way for me to read tone in what people are saying just like that people oh, okay. are constantly then, then mad I absolutely have to point this out then the irony yes. of the situation that's what tone indicators are for yes and please and use them there and made fun of them you made fun of them for some people who deeply need them and they help it's not it's making, no, I, I feel like you don't understand more. the context of it. It's not, I was wanting it's not, to stream live. Right. Do you want me to I explain? The point. I don't go. need it explained. You don't the need, butt of the joke so you, you're not willing situation. to actually hear me out. The butt of the joke is pointing out logical inconsistencies. Then point out logical inconsistencies. I was. This, that's not what it feels like to the people who are using this who use these things seriously. Because to be fair, I should probably use context indicators and things like that more myself. I don't use them. I can admit it because again, personal growth. But you call these people tender queers. You make them an enemy of your community, essentially. These are the bad people who are doing queer the wrong way. Act like them because this is funny. This will show how stupid they are. And there I am using that word again. Yeah, because people make these mistakes, but that's- Oh my God, man. I can't imagine living like this. You're already disabled. Why impose more limitations in your behavior? <laughs> like, why, why not live free? Ah, oh, man. Oh, my God. That's mm. the point of what's happening. That's how it is read by people. That right. you think these people who have neo-pronouns use these indicators. Are... I just don't think they understand how much of a prison they build for themselves. It's, it's not just like, I mean, obviously they're annoying to me, but I'm fine. I'm doing fine. And Keffel's is too, relatively speaking, especially compared, presumably, to the person she's talking to here. I, I, but I feel bad for them too. They have no idea how much they're, like, walling themselves in. Lesser than you, because you have villainized this term tender queer in your own mm -hmm. community and have essentially told your fan base, these are the bad people. I feel like... These are the bad... You were right about the use of retard media? Oh, wow. I imagine some of this is the use of the term retard to, to mean, like, to slow down, but from the Google Books uh, word viewer in, in f f use frequency. That's interesting. Lowest it's ever been. Bad queers. Am I not allowed to make criticism? Because that's cause it's kind of what it feels like. It's like equating criticism with harassment. 
it is possible to make criticisms against these kinds of communities. I mean, I think people make valid criticisms against the folks who try to start discourse about bi lesbians and things like that all of the time. We have plenty mm. of your claim that less people are using the R word these days. As it, quote, as expected, we found that the R word was prevalent among youth as 92% have heard someone use the word. I'm surprised it's not 100%. However, while most youth reported hearing the R word, far fewer youth, 36%, reported hearing it directed towards someone with an intellectual disability. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of how it feels. Just just like idiot and uh, dumbass or, 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 or stupid or dumb or whatever, or, or even lame. I feel like it's, it's just kind of been ubiquitized, you know? It's still a term that derides intelligence, but if you're going down that road, there's a million terms that do that. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It, it, yeah, there's no way it's even 30%. Keep in mind, 36% had heard at any point in their life someone using retard directed at someone with an intellectual disability. 36% of young people in their whole... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, a... I feel like not that much. I don't know. I just don't feel like the term carries the weight some people pretend it does. The N-word does. I don't like it when people just say it's a slur. Don't compare that shit to the N-word. I think that's unironically racist. Like, when people say it's a slur, they're trying to invoke the weight of the N-word. When people think slur in English, when, when an English-speaking person thinks slur, that one is at the top of the lift, list and nothing else is even close. So when somebody says retard, somebody else is like, uh, they used a slur, you know what you're f doing. You know what you're fucking doing. You're trying to, oh, which slur? Well, they said the R slur. Oh, retard. Okay, the word that means dumbass, but a little bit meaner, not the word that specifically dehumanizes black people and has been used as an invective against them for centuries and centuries and is still used today unambiguously as a completely... Oh, okay, so that you mean like the dumbass word. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, they know what they're f doing, yeah. Can you imagine if there was a black woman who was being a huge dick and you were like, oh my god, what a bitch, and she was like, he called me a slur, because bitch is technically a slur <laughs> against against women it's like call me so really he called you a slur damn and everyone in their head just thinking it's the n-word people do that yeah they do and i think it's kind of scummy how would you compare the t-word derogatory for trans femme to the n-word the t you mean the t-slur probably in the same category as the f-slur where it is a descriptive and targeted slur but it's also used all the time by the community against each other Black people don't really use the N-word against each other. They use the soft A about a lot of stuff, but the hard R, black people don't really say that much, except referentially. But gay people and trans people use the F-slur and the T-slur all the time. Uh, de well, well, depending on, the not all of them, but a lot of them do. What's more, the mainstream hatred against gay and trans people right now isn't really the kind that overlaps with the use of those slurs. It's more like, like, People who want to insult trans women don't call them the T-slur, they call them men. I mean, for the most part, I think. Oh yeah, quick baby break. We're getting he hella distracted from this video that's already gone on forever, but I want to watch. Danil? Danil, is that true? Are you full of chicken? Is that true? Are you are you just chock full of chicken? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Danil? He's so wiggly! Be free. If, and, and for anyone in the chat who wants to throw a fit, we have so much historical context for that. Wait, it's why are you assuming that my to... chat hates bi lesbians? Oh, I'm not assuming that your chat does. I am assuming that there are random viewers here right now who are just watching who will throw a fit because some people really will just throw a fit over anything. I get that. Yeah. I'm not going to call those, make up a term for those people specifically so we can. Vosh, Keffel's guest already brought it in. Blah, 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 blah. Just because discrimination against disabled people isn't as overt against discrimination against trans or black people doesn't mean the R slur carries less weight than other slurs. Yes, it does. Please shut up. If you seriously think retard and the N word are comparable, come on. The, 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 if, you think, if you think made or systemic discrimination or eugenics have anything to do with the current day usage of retard like any more so than the use of the term like dumbass or whatever i i, I no, 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 never mind never mind we're gonna perma distracted perma distracted you can just blow them off i'm not going to tell everyone these are just the tender queers you don't have to listen to anything they have to say essentially only listen to what i have to say my way of is being there a good re reason to not drop the use of the R word, though? Because I want to.
because I can do anything because I'm free because I am a goddamn mountain man. I holler from the mountaintops. My screams knock snow from the sides of cliffs. And you, you little, you, um, can you give me a reason why you should use? You have to give me a reason why I shouldn't. But keep in mind, my entire career is listening to people disagree with me and telling them they're dumb. Rugged individualism. Radical freedom. Cringe but free. I am cringe but free. I am peeing my pants as we speak. You're going to argue with somebody with pissed pants? It makes people uncomfortable, Vosh. Lots of things I do make people uncomfortable. That's also part of my job. And queer is right. That specifically denies okay. all discourse essentially. I mean, that's happening. not what I said. Um, or even how I define tender queer. The othering of people like that by by setting that up, by creating these kinds of terminologies. Right. This is what far right movements literally do. That's why every, people don't like it and it feels every off. movement makes up terms. Like, is it far right when trans people call each other trans medicalists? Because that is also an othering term. I would again say that intent is an important part of this. So you're saying that I'm intending like to saying, be far right? No, what I'm saying is we call people TERFs because they're TERFs. We call people trans medicalists because they're trans medicalists. Okay. Queer is such we call vague... people tender queer because they're tender queer. Tender queer is such a vague term that your fan base has taken it to be whatever they want, despite your direct definitions, because that's what I had to deal with last night. I don't know if you consider me a tender queer by whatever your standards are. Yes. That's well, that's what was because decided. you in the conversation with a disabled trans person in a chat full of disabled trans people, you tried to use I am a disabled trans person as a qualifier. And I think that's a manipulation of social justice rhetoric that doesn't actually true, true, super true, actually incredibly fucking true. If your ideas are good, you should never, ever, ever need to bring up any of your demographic qualifiers as a way of supporting them. Uh, soaked on left, you're not the first today. We're in a segment, I'll look later. Really help your arguments. I am trying to use that to explain that I'm coming from a place of experience. I mean, I, I live with this. I'm not just some random person on the internet who's complaining. I, I mean, and literally directly, I'm here because of your actions severely kind of up my whole night to be real because I had to sit and deal with that. You can, like, can definitely relate to this. It's a different scope, but I understand. But I'm glad you are not a victim of harassment if you try to rally people to report and ban somebody's Twitter account over nothing and then fans of that person make fun of you. There are things the fans could do that I think would qualify as harassment, but it, just the, the act of them making fun of you or criticizing you or even insulting you, I don't think qualifies as harassment. When I think of, I don't know, when I think of harassment, I feel like you have to go a lot farther than just like people were mean to me. Um, I feel like harassment has to like reach some higher standard than that. Um, because if that's the case, then like the whole internet is harassment all the time. It's just it's, it's, that it doesn't mean anything. Add though that unfor like fortunately my community is a lot nicer than the people who are currently mad at me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Um, because you said that they a didn't send you any death threats. Complaints, and to be fair, I've made the same complaints that it feels like the same kind of nonsense under different management but you said that you didn't get any ah, it's the meme it's the meme so having keffels fans make some light jokes about tender queers is a lot like the neo-nazis from kiwi farms who would dox and try to get people to kill themselves that's true threats this time the, when do was you the know that none of your fan base has done this to other people do and I know that none of your group? followers are people who send death threats to me? You can't qualify no, wait, that without I'm evidence. I'm not making a specific term like tender queer and saying these people are essentially the enemy. Let's go troll them and make fun of them. Won't this be so funny if they fall for this and think this is real? This is going to make them all look really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And that's what you did. I mean, right? Wasn't that kind of the point was to make those folks look bad and look I mean, like they're nonsensical doing that whole thing. This they don't, it's not really a debate. It's not breaking down right. points. They don't really the need point. my help doing that, though. 
but you chose to create what you called gay ops to do it anyway. Yes. So why? <laughs> Um, oh, oh no, I mean, you wouldn't let me actually place. explain, because there was a reason all of that happened. Like, the reason I that was happening in the first place is because I wanted to shift attention back onto me so people would stop talking about the Twitter space and would stop calling my friends Nazis for pushing back against transphobes. And it worked! Is that really a good thing? Um, I yes. mean, you threw a ton of people under the bus and directly... No, every time with this f***ing person, it's like, the, uh, there's never... It's like, oh, a bunch of people were har like harassing you and calling you Nazis and attacking you after you did a good thing, after you argue with Nazis and fascists and transphobes or whatever. Um, is it really good? Yes, it is. It is good. We should do it some more. Everyone who disagrees with me should be miserable 24-7. Yes, absolutely. Prove to me that that should not be the case. I want to hear logical proofs, okay? We are in the goddamn Parthenon, um, and I want to hear arguments. Expected other people to do that. I mean, again, well, I'm I mean, one person. I get it. Right. Maybe I'm not important in the grand scheme of things, but I have to deal with this. I had to deal with those people. Right, it but you, more than it's annoying. honestly incredibly insulting to me that you were trying to conflate having people asking you to use tone indicators with getting death threats and then trying to imply that I can't prove that my fans never did that. Like, Oh, hot take, by the way, doing that is a sign of privilege. If you're like one of these tender queer types who has never in their real life been directly confronted with bigotry, you're in a position where online, like you're like, oh yeah, Kiwi farms, neo-Nazis trying to dox and swat people. And also, like, this leftist who spends their entire life online defending me and my existence uh, has some edgy fans who, like, made fun of tone indicators. You know, kind of feels like we're under new management here. Like, yeah, that reeks of privilege to me. I have repeatedly said that these are not exactly the same things. They are still a form of harassment. The intent nope. was to inconvenience me, to make me feel like I am lesser because I care about these topics. A lot of harassment, again, if it's not just okay making someone on This car that just changed lanes and cut me off in traffic um, is very much like neo-Nazis and that both of them seek to inconvenience me. Comfortable, it is the intent. The reason I am putting out posts and complaining about your behavior is mm -hmm. because any attempts to have called in to do things politely, to try to do anything through back channels, don't seem to create any form of change. I don't want to have to send a bunch of people after you. I know you're probably getting tons of trolls because I'm blocking them when they come into my own comments. I don't want to deal with those kinds of people. I know they're disingenuous, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of people who genuinely care about these things. They're not just saying these things because they want to be social justice warriors. Or oh, wait a second. Like you that. were literally tagging, like quote tweeting Aaron Reed and like snitching on me, like tattling yes. to mom. Oh my God. Honestly. Yes, because these people are your friends and they keep defending your behavior that is hurting people. I didn't hurt you. You're literally being a f***ing pussy about this. You're literally conflating death threats with people doing like the most lukewarm trolling I've ever heard of. The last few... Notice how the person who's talking to Keffels up to this point has been acting as though um, they, they just got pulled into this. When in reality, yeah, they were like adding Twitter saying like, hey, can you ban these accounts? these trans women who run pro-trans accounts. Like, they, they initiated this. They were the aggressor. Two minutes ago, I said these are not exactly the same things. But earlier I mean, in the conversation, on. you tried to say, because like, can you prove it? it is a form of harassment. The you defined harassment as anything that makes you feel bad. Harassment is doing something with the intent of making someone feel uncomfortable on purpose. The whole Absolutely point not. That, that, would, that would mean, like, um, uh, 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 like talk, like posting a picture of an interracial couple in the comments of a neo-Nazi is harassment against the neo-Nazi. That's insane. Point of that, of your followers and your fans deciding to come and leave these comments, sure, they're lukewarm, whatever. Yeah. Was to make me feel uncomfortable and give me a hard time. And you put my name on stream, you showed it to everybody, mm -hmm. and did it yourself and essentially encouraged people. I wish I had the full VOD, but I know that, again, I was watching this live, so I have the full context. You had to delete that VOD because porn accidentally showed up on stream, which is whatever. I'm not, I'm not using that as an argument. Nice. I get it. Things happen. Right. But yeah. 
you are essentially encouraging people, go make these dumb comments. Go inconvenience this person. Because I think the stuff they're saying is stupid. It's not making arguments. It's not debating if that's apparently important to you. It's of course. Just, go be rude to this person for the sole purpose of what? I mean, again, I already told you. Me, making me feel like crap. I mean, like, if that's the point. Even if it's not a death threat, what was the point of it? Did, what was the did, point? I already answered this early base, in the conversation. Is sending your fan base directly to harass me, one person? You weren't harassed. Like, let's be real here. You did not experience harassment Fine, even. Then. If yeah. you don't want to agree to my de definition, how in the world does that help our movement? In any way whatsoever. Wait, were you tagging Twitter trying to get my main band on Twitter? Yeah, because I'm sick of this kind of crap. Oh. So there, so yeah, literally, like, this is the double standard we're dealing with. This person feels they have infinite moral, like, permission to do anything, um, but any inconvenience they experience whatsoever is, like, the worst possible thing in the world. This is how you know these people are f miserable. It's because their self-pity is the lit is the fuel to their bad behavior online. They couldn't be like this if they weren't miserable. They have to be miserable to be like this. Yeah, please go outside. Please touch grass. No matter what level of... Listen, if I, assuming the level of disability this person has is such that they are capable of touching grass, which it has to be, okay? Because they can talk on a computer. They have to be able to touch grass. It has to be in their reach. Even if they were quadriplegic and communicating right now through the world's most advanced thought to, to to text algorithm voice speech thing okay they can still get somebody to cut off a little square of grass and put it in a dish and then like press it against their face or something so anything please god holy shit why you are I... such a little tender queer holy f you're literally like appealing to elon musk to get a trans person banned because they you don't like that they said a no-no word how thin-skinned are you you're appealing to a transphobe that wants us that... dead to have me banned from a platform because you have a personal gripe with me. The only reason that I took to doing that is it is a far line too far to, again, literally send your fan base directly to troll me and be jerks on purpose. You are. It is a step too far to be jerks. All right. Your fan base has dumped a big bucket of bummer on my Twitter experience, dude. And I'm not having it. Uh, as a result, I have deployed uh, SEAL Team 6 to your house. Uh, sorry, like, I don't know. You didn't have to do this. My red dot site is leveled directly at your chest. Maybe take your bucket of bummer elsewhere next time, dude. Like the people who lived in Nazi Germany and snitched on their Jewish neighbors to settle personal debt. You that is true. I, th I, gen I actually genuinely think that is a fair comparison, yeah. In the situation we're in right now, yeah, I, I do genuinely think that you could make a fair comparison there, yeah. ...who are betraying an entire community of disabled you people. You are literally right. trying to collaborate with fascists. They are also going through the same thing. Seriously, you are doing so many of these things that you're complaining about, and I don't... No, I'm not I the mean, one who just collaborated with fascists to try and get trans people deplatformed. Jesus. You are essentially collaborating with people to make folks with specific disabilities feel lesser than and made fun of when we are already suffering through our own version of- Hey, quick, hey, quick Q&A, chat. Can the left survive if all it takes for people to try to mass report your account and remove you from the internet is you saying retard while arguing with Nazis and transphobes? Hey, tell me how well the left's gonna do with that set of uh, requirements. You know, just a quick, just a quick YN on that one. Um, Insane. Insane. This is this is more privilege than I've ever listen. I am a non dis hold on. Let me just let me just flex for a second if I can literally. I am so not disabled that I suffered a back injury while deadlifting probably about twice this caller's weight, and then I fixed it with physical therapy that I could afford with my wealth. And also I'm white and a guy. And I still haven't experienced as much privilege as this caller has i have no idea what kind of ephemeral angel realm you have to exist within to wake up in the morning and think what can i do in this time of impending doom to help assist the trans community i know i'll go after the three loudest trans women pro trans accounts on twitter by reporting them to elon musk because one of them called a call full of nazis retards let me just, I just, Jesus Christ.
Maybe I'm referring to Jesus Christ. Maybe this individual is Christ. I don't know, because that feels like an approximate level of privilege. My God. Unbelievable. I'm helping. <laughs> smiley. <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Genocide of this medical neglect severely. People dying. Medical rationing. You are making fun of these people and essentially telling your community they really care about this issue. That's stupid. These people who are going through the same experience. This person, as they're being like wheeled onto the train, thinking, man, this reminds me of that time that somebody, um, somebody said I was turbo autistic on Twitter. Uh, I, this won't be that bad. I've, I've gone through this before. I remember <laughs> the Keffels fans. Experiences of trans people, which is why I say. What, what issue am I telling them to make fun of? To start disabled people in general? Other people with autism who take these things seriously and use these things? It's not just breaking down arguments or showing inconsistencies. You're sending people to troll and act like these people are lesser, are nonsensical, are, I mean, again, I guess for lack of a better word, I'm failing here, are dumb. And that's because that's. I just, just like can't ridiculous. believe it. It's like. Dumb. Dumb? Really? Uh, the Nanners incident. You know, instead of having a dialogue about this, like, you're saying that I'm harmful for the trans community, but you are literally willing to collaborate with people who want to strip us of all of our rights because I said a word you don't like. It's beyond just a word I don't like. This... It's not as direct. It's not as easy to see. But when you use this kind of dehumanizing language towards disabled people, it allows like for these continued things to go on. It makes people feel like it's normal. Can it you stop okay. acting like an authority for disabled people? We're, we're both disabled here. Okay? You do not have to do the tender okay, queer appeal then. to identity okay, liberal fine, impulse. Um, have you had to deal with medical rationing because of the pandemic? I had to deal with medical rationing because of the pandemic, yes. Okay, explain your experiences then. Explain my... <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry uh <laughs> you ask me some shit like this and i'm lying i'm lying if i can tell me what you personally have i'm gonna need, i'm gonna need three more examples of you being genocided by the state experiences not having yeah. enough money to pay for both food and rent and my medication and having to like skip days Oh, I mean, that that's fair. That's understandable. Yeah. I can't physically get parts for my wheelchair that I need to move around. I have problems being able to sometimes leave my home. Doctors that I need for vital medical care aren't <laughs> even available to see me. And people don't care about these issues. A large majority of people don't. We are being forced into closets. We are... She, this person goes down to the hospital to get like a, a replacement wheel for one of the chairs. And there are three doctors who are all playing keep away with it, like tossing the replacement wheel. And... They can't like wheel over to them in time, so it keeps getting tossed between them, and they're like, haha, retard, retard. And like all that, and that's why they're such an evangelist in this issue now. I, I now see. It's the only explanation. They're <laughs> essentially being told, just go die. We're going through our own version of genocide. It's, it's what's happening to disabled people right now. I want to be clear, I don't disagree with anything this person is saying on the plight that disabled people experience. I'm not, just to be clear, they are right when they are talking about all that. I, I agree with them completely and unreservedly, okay? It is everything else they're doing and everything else they're contributing to um, that I am, I am aggressively making fun of. A return of the ugly laws where we can't even go outside and participate in society. And if you follow that logic, when we are belittling people with any other kind of disability, even as disabled people, we are normalizing that behavior in others. We're telling other people... How much are the fine. wheelchair parts? Thousands of dollars. My wheelchair had a crash, and these front wheels, I don't know... What? What? Okay, I'm guessing it's an electric wheelchair. How much does an electric wheelchair cost? An electric... A power wheelchair will cost around two and a half thousand. Yeah, that is pricey. Um, maybe it's like a more advanced one? 
Like there, there's there's something fancy to it. The high end of costs that I'm seeing here are three thousand, but I bet for like special accommodations, it would probably be more like ten thousand. I'm guessing it might be more. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm just I have no reason to like not believe them, apart from them not being a very credible person to begin with. If I'm going to get parts still for the next six months, I'm fortunate enough to have insurance. These wheels alone that just need replacing in the front part of my frame so wait, it's can covered? cost somewhere like five hundred dollars. I'm lucky that I have some solid insurance. I'm extremely fortunate in that regard. So, wait, it's covered with your insurance? Well, that's part of the problem. It may be covered, but it's going to take months for approval. I'm still not even approved to get parts on a chair that I should not be using, but it's the only thing I have because the front of the frame is bent and so, it needs a full replacement. I'm going to take months to do that. And then I'm going to have to wait months for the parts. How the fuck? Wait, okay, I'm so sorry. How'd the frame get bent? This person playing bumper carts? I don't know. Okay, let's just even get here. You so months you appealed to be able to show up and you appealed to how much it costs when you don't even have to afford it. And no, I mean I'm aware I'm of this. I'm not the only person running into these issues. Okay. I, I think if you would like to learn a lot about disability justice, truly, if for some, if there is anything you're that an I can incredibly get out of this bad faith person, and I've learned literally nothing from this conversation then, other than you're willing you, to work with if fascists. You do not want to take anything else from this conversation. And I'd say this. No, I've already chat. learned. You're basically as bad as Elon Musk. I like ideologically, I would say you are more aligned with fascists than you are I with the trans community. The content of Amani Barbaran. She is a wonderful woman who does excellent discussions on these issues and how the ongoing, ongoing pandemic okay. and how people's okay. continued mistreatment of disabled people leads to a lot of really bad real life consequences, deaths. Yes, I'm aware. I, yeah. I do not need a disability justice to be explained to me. I'm very aware. I have a lot of friends that are disabled. I have a and lot of people it, in this community that are disabled. The only thing I'm, I can ask is again, yes. does it, we don't have to agree with everyone, but then does it matter to you that a large swath of those folks feel thrown under the bus by this behavior? So, okay, to, to, fi to finally like wrap up this argument, because the call is obviously ending here, feelings are literally irrelevant and I don't care about them. I need like, actual arguments about the uh, extent to which the use of the term retard um, like normalizes ableism in a way distinct from the ableism we normalize when we call people stupid or dumbass or whatever. And none of you guys will ever really be able to give me that argument because that's a really difficult argument to prove. But like, to be honest, guys, I really feel like a lot of you are with me. The main issue here is that if there's an actual objective ethical harm to using the term retard, sensitivity shouldn't actually play into it, right? Like, you could make those arguments without sensitivity being a factor. But whenever this comes up, it always seems like sensitivity is the main factor. And I just don't, I just don't, I just, I just don't care. Uh, but again, even if this person had good arguments, and they don't, it doesn't change the fact that they came into this, like, attacking Keffels and trying to get her banned and attacking, like, actual trans advocates um, over nothing. And it is nothing. If, you're, if your response to somebody on Twitter saying Nazis are retarded is to try to get them banned, like, that's insane. That's psychotic. I, I just, yeah, I, I, it's no, yeah. Whatever happened to just thinking something was kind of distasteful and leaving it at that? Is that fine? Is that not fine? The problem is all lefties are all like problematic pilled. So anything that's even remotely bad, they now have the ability to justify with sociological analysis, you know? Like normal people can just hear a thing they don't really like and think like, oh, I don't really like that, but okay. But now in lefty brain, it's all because it's problematic. So it's, it's, it's like, oh, well, it's not just that I dislike it. It actually contributes to and, and normalizes and reifies a harmful social trend that contributes to, and then you like roll the, the spinning wheel on whatever like ism it, it, it ends up landing on. But like, fuck man, we all do that all the time. If you, if you live your whole life, like attacking people over that, you're not going to have any allies. Um, hold on, hold on. One in chat Is if this, you're disabled. One in chat if you're, these are literally only among your fan base. I... I care about genuine question, but what about social intelligence? Oh, the funny thing is, by the way, is that um, oh, like overwhelmingly, the people in my experience who suffer from uh, neuroatypical conditions the most, they are um, 
more challenged like socially than they are analytically. And following through that, I think you can make a really good argument oftentimes that, and I mean this seriously, creepy is borderline a slur against autistic people because creepy gets used so ubiquitously against guys whose only crime is looking a bit off or being a little bit off socially. And like this shit will ruin them. It ruins their self-esteem. And oftentimes it's just because they're awkward or autistic or whatever. But obviously we can't stop saying people are creepy because some people actually are creepy. We just have to accept the fact that if we've already settled on the issue, we've decided it's okay to make fun of people for their ability, then people with lesser abilities in some fashion, be it physical, social, or intellectual, are going to get the short end of that stick. But we can't pretend like we have some hard moral line at the term retard specifically. I know a lot of guys out there who would be like fine with getting called retarded because it's just a mean word, but devastated with being called creepy by a girl at a party even if they didn't do anything, especially if they did nothing. I think weird is also comparable to creepy. Yeah, like the, the problem is like, we just do not have a consistent set of standards when it comes to these terms. But I'll, I'll say this much, man. Like I, I'll, like I use the term creepy, but I try to use it to refer to weirdos at the bus stop who ask chicks their number and not to guys who just come across like looking a bit awkward or like socially unaware or like are a bit stilted. I tend to be kind to those people. I use the term retarded to refer to people who disagree with me and chat, but not to like people with Down syndrome or whatever. I like the, I, and I think a lot of people are like that too. I think a lot of people are capable of understanding that even if we have a broad kind of like set of biases on these terms that seemingly are unavoidable because we're referring to actual ability, it's possible to thread these lines while still being a decent person. I think that's possible. You don't call retarded people retarded. That's in bad taste. You call your friends retarded when they're acting retarded, which I fully agree with. I think that's a, I think that's a fine attitude. And also a more progressive attitude uh, than a lot of people have, personally. The disabled people in your It looks like we got but... at least like 70 people. What about people outside of that too? The people who feel thrown under the bus by these actions? Like, I, I mean, I assume that you believe we need like solidarity in our community right. to I be mean... able to fight these issues, right? I think that's the issue is whether these things feel offensive to you or not, whether it felt like harassment to you or not, whatever it is, of people course, people are feeling like this is what is happening to them and it's making it harder to form a movement. And you are someone that people look to as a leader. Hold you on have a this second. large following, you've done things. Um, I'm just getting a message from one of my chatters who is a black, deaf, blind, uh, trans woman in a wheelchair. And she's saying that you need to stop speaking for her. Okay. Yes. Cool, I'll speak for other people then. Oh, she wants you to stop speaking for all disabled people. Okay, um, okay, wait, deaf and blind? Yes. <laughs> Not to be rude, but then how are they interacting with the stream? <laughs> <laughs> they know they're being lied to, but they're so cucked that they can't just rebuke the premise. They have to actually go like, uh, 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 okay. Oh my God. Interacting with the stream? Uh, they have, they have a braille writer and they can use that to translate to keystrokes. Wow. That's actually a really cool piece of technology. Yeah. I didn't realize that existed. That's awesome. Though we can't always speak for everyone. That's not possible, but that is part of the Imagine living here. like this. Mm -hmm. There's no way to make everyone agree with us. And there are definitely times we can put aside issues we disagree with. Yeah, for real, Demon Mama, the idea of, like, never helping the enemy is something that people just don't seem to get. Like, I have dealt with so many horrible, miserable, bad-faith lefties, barely even lefty, but I would never agree with a Nazi or a fascist or a transphobe um, if they made any same criticism or, like, any similar attack. I, like, I will accuse Professor Flowers of being a white-hating piece of shit for her entire life, unless she changes. But if a Nazi was then like, ah, so even you admit that there are lefties who are anti-white, I would immediately turn around and call him a retard and tell him to shut the fuck up. I will never give them a single inch of ground. But like, the, like I, when I said that like people on the left should focus more on men's issues, uh, a bunch of TERFs attacked me over it. People whose bios literally said like bio XX woman or whatever. And then trans women were there agreeing with them. There was literally a trans girl who was like, never thought I'd agree with a TERF account. And it's like, you people are going to get us all killed. 
You've no idea. You will give ground to anyone. A, a, another lefty will cut you off in traffic and you will immediately go over to the Schutzstaffel and report them for hiding Jews in their basement. You have no principles. You will, you, you don't care at all. It's, it's all bullshit for you. The nanosecond, it, like solidarity isn't even a fleeting concept in your mind. Oh my God. Seriously, Vermin. As someone who had their information posted on Kiwi Farms and still does, because unfortunately people can still access it in their own ways, I was very happy to see actual attention being brought to this stuff. I got mm -hmm. that. Capable of two thoughts at once that even if I didn't always like the approach, that something net good was being attempted to be done. The problem here is people are feeling completely thrown under the bus. No, I mean, I feel thrown under the like, bus by you, to, like, to be honest. Yeah, this person was trying to get Keppel's account banned on Twitter because she called r Nazis retards. Like, if you wanted me to be accountable, you wouldn't have tried to deplatform me. Like, that was, like, one of Most your first go-tos. accountability for you. Because, this is because I mean, this isn't the first complaint against you about doing these things. People tried to come to you in gentler ways. Even previously with some of the other things that have gone on with the original Kiwi Farms things, mm -hmm. I said stuff that was far more polite about trying to be introspective and discussing things. A lot of people did. People tried to come in the most polite and kind ways possible and were completely ignored. They, they literally always do this and it's an actual abuse tactic. Um, as a collective, they will, um, they will act like horrendous pieces of shit. But then they'll be like, ah, well, if you didn't want this, then maybe you should have listened to us when we were being nice. And this is an argument over, like, using the term nanners. It's, um, it's, it's all, like, abuse bullshit. Same logic. People have tried to explain mm -hmm. things or give resources and been ignored. You make streams where you literally joke about, oh, I'm going to be held accountable because this is a joke. Yeah, remember, remember Contra- Hey, remember Lindsay Ellis? When um, a combination of leftists and Nazis got her to flee the internet after like weeks and weeks of harassment and all the lefties who were doing the Nazis were honest, by the way, in this respect, the Nazis are more honest than lefties. The Nazis were like, yeah, we're harassing her because we hate her. That is true. Uh, the lefties were like, oh, well, she wouldn't listen to our well-reasoned criticism, so we have no choice but to, uh, you know, dogpile her with with like um, white life 1488, you know, uh, um, the whole way through exact same shit with contrapoints too with uh with the whole like all the people who were trying to ruin her life were like um maybe you should have listened to us uh when we it laid out our initial unhinged criticisms because even if people are coming to you in good faith it is assumed that it's a joke how are people supposed to come to you in good faith to be real, yeah, I'm annoyed that I had to deal with all of this nonsense and having a bunch of people in my DMs, in my messages, I, death threats I, or not, this was a crappy part of my evening. I envy I you, honestly. Deal with that. I envy See, you. If you don't like these things happening to you, why? Oh, no, no, no. What happened to you is like a back massage them? compared to what I deal with online. Like, it's True. insulting hearing you say that a handful of people just like saying, please use tone indicators, I have autism is the equivalent to having your life ruined. I've repeatedly said that these are not the exact same things. Right, yeah. but we're, it's coming up in the same conversation. I just don't have any sympathy for that. When I know that you went so scorched earth, you tried to deplatform me, which has nothing smaller, to do with accountability. If I got deplatformed... These kinds it, of smaller actions that you take, trying to do a psyop essentially to make fun of an entire community, it's not just me who's going to be affected by this. There are multiple people. It's not just me. I'm just someone who right. happens even you with said my tiny platform in your argument to, to do this. Like and they do the to problem. you. So you were equivocating these things. And I think that maybe yeah. you do not understand the scope difference you're talking about. I do, Keffels. Having lived through both, I do not need lighter reminders of it in my current life. I don't get why, yes, maybe you get worse, but why you would want to- Why do I feel like the woke scolds attack the left more than the right? They don't attack the right. Woke scolds don't attack the right. The, uh, the reason why is because these people, the woke scold types, or tender queers or whatever, are generally miserable and emotionally fragile. And the only power they have, they have none in real life. Online, the only power they have is to weaponize their, um, 
their 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 moral virtue to um gatekeep other people in a way that elevates them and preserves the perceived purity of their community Le like online leftism is basically like what if every single person got to be in a free-for-all for who gets to be forum mod circa 1997 you know like e e everyone we're now giving everyone the ability to um to feel like a tiny god over their domain uh and all you have to do is be better than the people around you that process of like clout chasing leaves no room for actually dealing with the right. It's entirely infighting. To send anything less to others anyway, especially people who should theoretically be allies. Would you like to give we me like the total number of people that you blocked and I can like go over them to see if they're even actually my fans? Cause- Oh, and one other thing, the reason why we're watching so much of this as well is because, um, not only do we support Keffels, who's dealing with a lot at the moment, but also, more importantly, because just because my account is immune to this bullshit now doesn't mean that it's not happening. Every day, tons of people are victimized by the horrible f***ing behavior of online woke skulls. They do a tremendous amount of harm to our movement and to our communities. And I just, like, keep in mind, Keffels trending like 18,000 tweets right now. I think it was at like 30,000 the other day. A uh, huge denunciation. It is a massive part of the online left, unfortunately. And I might be immune to it because they all wrote me off a long time ago. But that doesn't mean it's not still a problem. You said there were hundreds, but there are less than... There were less than 200 of them. And most of them did not interact with any of them. Anyone. Outside of my own community. I did not keep a direct tally because why would I? I was busy just getting rid of everything. Because again, my... But, because this isn't unfortunately the first time I've had to deal with this kind of crap. But yeah, I had to sit there and run a blockchain. I had to be annoyed for hours on end. It sucks. Wait, what blockchain it's, are you using that takes hours? Thing. People after the blockchain went and saw that I had blocked people kept showing up, making new accounts. That's... People who want to okay. be trolls who have been So you're not even going to, to prove people. that it's my fans at this point. This person is lying, by the way. They are not telling the truth. If this person just ran a blockchain on Keffels, they would immediately get like 98% of these accounts and the remaining like three could be blocked in seconds. The idea that it takes multiple hours to do this is completely incorrect. It's fake. This person is lying. Or they're that disabled. Who the f*** knows? You're just saying anyone who trolled you when you decided to get involved in a very large discourse. And anytime there's any discourse- on your stream live, who else would have been coming to bother me? You that tweeted on a public night? platform where public discourse occurs. Yes, and then you put me in front of all of your fans. Who else would have been showing up? Who else would have been showing up? Would have been, yeah, how many other people would have been coming to my random account? How many other people? Me and using this exact kind of language that all of those other folks were using. How, 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 why, why would just other people randomly show up to do Literally that, that anyone. Like, you don't think that I have people who hate me that just kind of follow me around or just, like, rock the boat? Like, I've had this situation occur in the past, right? Like, if, if you'll hear me out on it. I've had a situation occur in the past where Kiwi Farms users pretended... We get seen by 400k people I sleep. We get seen by 500 viewers in a live stream real shit. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, biggest video post from the clip where you said, um... Uh, go make tender queer accounts has like 3.4 million views now. Um, they pretended to be my fans and they went into the DMs of black trans women and said a whole bunch of racist shit. And it just like stoked the fire. And when I tried to like politely ask, can you please like send me the DMs? Because if I do not know what they said and who they are, I can't ban them. I can't get rid of them from the community. So it's like, Keeping the community safe, that's not entirely on me. Like, other people need to help in that regard, because I can't ban anyone if I don't know who they are. Unfortunately, at least in this case, as you're having people make fake accounts, I doubt there's going to be much accountability, even if I sat down and tried to pull up any name I could still find. Okay, I mean, if you want to pretend that um, you have absolutely no responsibility, if someone said something egregious to you and you want me to ban them, I'm willing to. I've always had that policy, but I can't do it without you being willing to participate in that. I think what I more want is to explain that just because things don't feel like they are on the level of hurt that you get does not mean that they do not. This happens every f***ing time with me, too. They'll be like, uh, Vosh mentioned me on stream, and I've received millions of DMs from unique accounts, all of which are neo-Nazis and Vosh fans. 
Uh, and I have been called the N-word more in the past two seconds than I have been for my entire life. And then we're like, hey, can any evidence of this be provided? And then, no. I remember, uh, in particular, uh, uh, um, um, the, who's the Vietnamese nationalist again? Uh, um, Luna Oi. Yeah, Luna Oi. Luna Oi went on and on about being called the N-word by fans of mine. And it turns out that it was a couple of quote tweets from Nick Fuentes fans on a separate tweet where she posted a selfie that I never interacted with. And there were a couple of uh, Nick Fuentes fans who quote tweeted calling her like uh, racial slurs. Um, I never interacted with that tweet. They were all visibly Nick Fuentes fans, if you know anything about what they tend to look like. Uh... <laughs> But, but but she was but she completely ignored that and then she was like ah see Vosh fans have been calling me slurs for it's like oh, okay hurt others to the same severity people have different mental health states mm -hmm. people are in different places and something that can feel like light trolling and not that serious to one person can be devastating to another because again I'm not saying that my whole life has been ruined right I get that it's it was an inconvenience of my evening, and yeah, I was annoyed. I'm not saying that I'm just going to blow off that that happened either. Oh it feels God. like a line is crossed, and you essentially sent people to, if you don't want to call it harassment or whatever, but to troll me, and I've had to deal with that. And I, I don't want that starting again. It can okay. seem like it's coming from a good and kinder community. I don't think I, like, did I actually, because I do way. not remember actually telling them, go harass this person. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, when you were on the stream, I said, do not harass this person. I can't point out the VOD, it's deleted. I mean, you would be the only person who has access. Right. If you do, I, I, again, I can't pull that up. You pulled up my tweets, made the jokes, and then that's what sent people over. Even if you didn't directly say the words- Like, so you were lying, but I did person. actually say that. I did say it because the VOD isn't deleted, it's privated. Um, I did say that, and the reason that I phrased it in this way is because I wanted to see how you would react, and you reacted by gaslighting me. How can you not see that by essentially, you don't need to literally say, hey, go harass this person and just simply saying, hey, don't actually harass them. Come on, really? Are, are we going to be that disingenuous that you didn't know what would happen? That people would do this anyway? I mean, you, you literally did it. You modeled the behavior for them to come do this to me. You didn't think- Come do this to you because like three or four people said, please use tone indicators or something. Again, it's more than three or four people I got private messages. Some of the accounts are gone now because, again, thankfully they were reported or whatever else. I have friends who are kind. Right. For some folks, they're not going to have as hardened of a heart when they get... This person just said folks and I heard the X. Oh my god, it's getting to me. Holy sh- I heard the X. Oh Christ. You guys heard it too, didn't you? Oh, you did, didn't you? Rewind. Can you hear it? Hold on. Right. For some people reported or whatever else. I have friends who are kind. Right. For some folks, they're not going to have a- Oh, can't you hear it? I can hear it. It's in my mind. It's hardened of a heart when they get this minor trolling. Hardened of a heart? You are such a fucking pussy. You tried to get me deplatformed. You literally appealed to Elon Musk. You know the guy who bought Twitter because he wanted to get rid of penalties for dead naming and misgendering? You were literally oh, like appealing my, to transphobes yeah. to deplatform a member of your own community. You're a piece of shit, and you should really think about your own actions and behaviors. I mean, I could say the same to you. No, you, you couldn't. By the way, I've spent a good portion of this call scrolling through this person's Twitter account, and I do not see a single tweet that they have made that had a bunch of people replying to it. Uh, not a single one. Anywhere. I'm trying to see if I can find, like, the highest comment reply count. This one has six comment replies, one of which is from them themselves, and one of which is from a person who doesn't like Keffels, and then four other ones I can't see, presumably because they have me blocked. I don't see any, there's, there's nothing here. Yes, I can. You no, you couldn't. actions that actively harm other You people. literally work with people who want to remove all of our rights, people who want us dead. You are willing to appeal to them if you think it will benefit you personally. Just you over a willing, personal gripe. You're willing to appeal to trolls and people who want to hate specific kinds of queer people 
That is what you did here. Specific. But no matter what you think of a tender queer person or whatever your definition, I love how you just like ignore it. You ignore it. You're people. like, yes, I will work with fascists. Those are the specific queer people that are the bad people. At you're this doing. point, I'm not even convinced that you're queer. I'm convinced that you're some sort of right wing op. Like, how could you work with Elon any, Musk? Any amount of people who bring about yes? serious, but you won't address it. Like, do you see how f***ed up that is? I am attempting to address it by showing how essentially you are doing similar things. If you want to criticize me for that, you need to look inward. People have tried to be kind. All right, and you retard. Jesus. All right, done. True. Oh, God. I don't, I don't, what? What the f***? I made another clip. Oh, oh no. That's also true. Anyway, okay. Good to know. Keffels did nothing wrong. Uh, yeah. I, I, I hope we can all note from this the remarkable sociopathy of people who do this tender queer bullshit. It is, it is absolutely insane how, like, vindictive and malicious they are, how willing they are to tear apart, like, the entire community and the movement broadly over nothing. Uh, they'll lie about everything that you've done. They will misrepresent you. They'll never engage in good faith. And it's ultimately not because they're, like, um, planning, you know, Machiavellian, whatever. It's because they're miserable and lashing out. But that's no excuse. Oh, you're right. Wait. Uh, I don't want to show this person's Twitter accounts. They can't bitch. However, um, they screenshotted Libs of TikTok, who uh, is targeting a... Um, a person who advocates for maps, like the pro-pedo shit or whatever. And this person, the one who Keffel just called a retard, is saying, so let me get this straight. Libs of TikTok is terrible and inexcusable until they target a group people hate enough to make a trend. Y'all realize no matter your feelings on maps, you're legitimizing this horrible hate account, right? So apparently on this specific issue, this person is, is capable of understanding that even if Libs of TikTok is uh, going after a map, that doesn't mean that you should legitimize libs of TikTok. No, this person isn't defending maps. What they're saying is, just because libs of TikTok is right on this one, you don't have to give credit to her. Under no circumstances do you, in fact, have to give her credit. Um, yeah, chat, pay attention. Uh, so apparently, this person understands this position, which is correct, but doesn't seem to understand uh, that you shouldn't yeet trans accounts into the Elon Musk furnace because you were inconvenienced by three people replying to you. Thank you, Keffels, for the VOD. Close that. Close this. We still have to go over Anna Kasparian.